Um, you know, I don't think that there's really a specific number in terms of the list that you want to build, but I do think that really ranking whatever list you might have uh, really aggressively and making sure you have a very strong um, personal feeling as to what your number one, number two, number three, number four, number five firms are. I think you can keep a relatively broad list, but just I would try to rank them, um, like really be extremely diligent with yourself about ranking those um, before the process kicks off, because hopefully you'll get multiple calls from headhunters if you choose to go with the on-cycle process. And at that point, you'll have to immediately decide whether or not you want to go to one firm or another. And so that ranking process really just enables you to force rank as you get those incoming calls from headhunters. And that can be really helpful in the moment. You know, I think in terms of some of the criteria that I focus on, of course, cultural and fit is one that I think does play a, a, a very big role in private equity. You know, a lot of these firms are smaller than banks. And so culture and fit and making sure that you're well aligned with the investment staff is something that I think is an intangible that does rank high on a lot of these private equity firms lists when they're assessing you and beyond just, you know, making sure that you can check all the basic boxes. I think some of the other features that I've really appreciated more so since I've joined my firm um, than I think when I was going through it are, you know, I think for me at least, I was focused on a couple of factors. Number one being an operational focus. So I was looking for firms that did hire consultants. Coming from FIG, I wanted to explore a couple of other industries. And so I was looking primarily for firms that were generalist. I think that I have had that opportunity to explore a couple of other industries just in the six months since I've joined. Um, and then, you know, some of the features I think that I've appreciated much more since I've joined are, um, you know, at least for me, we're a relatively small firm in terms of our investment professionals with a relatively high AUM per head. And we're a single fund, single product model. And that single fund, single product model just means that we have pretty strong alignment from the top to the bottom, from the executive chairman on down. And so you'll see every Monday we'll get on a call uh, go through the entire portfolio as well as every new deal. And the executive chairman, the CEO will be actively engaged uh, in talking with us on every single new deal as well as every single portfolio company. And so having that, uh, you know, very strong alignment by having only a single fund doing only private equity, I think was something that I maybe underappreciated when I was going through the process. And now that I'm in it, really do appreciate having that strong alignment. 